Hey everyone, it's Joy for Honeybee Stamps. I have two cards for you today using the beautiful Lovely Layers Cone Flower, and I did some alcohol ink backgrounds to go along with those gorgeous flowers. So I'm starting with a piece of my Yupo paper, and the alcohol ink that I'm using is Patina, Laguna, Pistachio, and Sunshine Yellow. And then I have my alcohol, I also have the uh, pinata brass metallic alcohol ink it says brass but it really looks gold and i love to use that so for this first background i just laid a long line of uh, alcohol down on my yupo paper and then i just dotted with some of my colors then i'm coming in using my uh, brass metallic alcohol ink and i'm just using this little air squisher thing. It's actually to clean out your camera lens to kind of blow the dust off your camera lens, but it works perfect for this. I'm sure you've seen other people using this type of tool as well. And I just want this nice line going diagonal across my cardstock. And so I'm really working to kind of move the majority of the color to the center and it kind of wisps out on the ends and it's just a little bit softer. I really like that heavier line that you can see there with the gold metallic and some of the color when it really kind of gets really thick. I like that look. So for the second one here, I'm just gonna add some dots towards the top here of my colors and just kind of blend it out. There's no real design other than I wanted to keep my colors to one side of the alcohol ink paper. So as you can see here, it's kind of heavy and I'm just gonna kind of move across the top, adding my colors, and then at the end, I'm gonna soften up the edges and kind of bring it down a little bit. And as you saw the pictures at the beginning of the video, you can kind of see where I ended up putting the cone flowers at the top and there was a white part left on this background. So I've got my colors laid down here and now I'm just adding some of that alcohol ink at the bottom and as you can see now I'm pushing the alcohol ink down and kind of softening the edges just a little bit. And it's working perfect exactly how I want it to look, just softening everything up but you've got these great colors together. I picked these the, the blues and yellow because I want my cone flowers actually to be a really bright pink and it'll be a really good contrast. So now here is the cone flower die and I'm just die cutting all of my images from white cardstock because I will be doing some Copic coloring on these. And I did die cut four of these and you can see that I have the flowers and the leaves here. I'm just gonna pop that out and continue to die cut until I get four complete flowers. So now I'm coming in with my Copic markers. I'm using RV 13, 14, 21, and 55. These are the main colors for the petals of my cone flower. The centers are R35, 37, and 89. And so what I'm doing is just coming in with my darkest pink. I also have a little, the R55 is kind of a little bit of a purpley pink, and you don't, it doesn't stand out separately, but it really kind of made a difference uh, to, to add that color in. So as you can see from what I'm doing, I'm coming in with my dark color and just flicking outwards. Then I have my medium color. I'm going over that dark color and then extending past the dark color. And then I've got my lightest color and I'm gonna just blend that all the way to the end going over all of the colors. And I kind of do that twice. I go two rounds of that on each one of the layers of this cone flower. And as you can see, as you're layering it, you can see some of that underneath. You can see some of the flicking part, motion parts of the Copic markers, if that makes any sense. And it really adds a lot of dimension. And I'm not trying to get rid of all of those uh, flicking little marks from the Copic markers, because I really think that that adds some dimension. This is the centerpiece again, R35, 37, and 89. This I really want this to be on the darker side of red. For the leaves, I'm using G24, 29, and 46. I laid down my lightest color, went with the darkest on the outside edge, used that medium color there, and then just kind of blended it out with my lightest color. Now let's glue these together. So I'm gonna glue that second one to the very back, and you can tell how they line up by the center part of the flower. It all just lines up nice and easy. I am just gluing down 
the center part of the flower to each other because I want to be able to lift up these petals and give it dimension. You can also give this dimension by adding some foam tape between each layer. And I did that for one of the sneak peeks and it really gives it a ton of dimension, but I wanted to do it different this time. So I'm gonna glue all four of my flowers together. And once I'm done with that, then we can get both of these cards put together. And as you can see there, I'm kind of lifting up each one of the layers and how much dimension that that gives just by itself. So I'm gonna stamp my sentiments and I have two sentiments and this is from the My Favorite Flower Stamp and Coordinating Die. My sentiments say, you're my favorite flower. And the other one is, you are such a blessing in my life. So I'm just stamping this with Versamark Clear Embossing Ink onto some white cardstock. I'm gonna sprinkle on some gold embossing powder. I really wanted to bring in more of the gold since I added that in the alcohol ink background. I'm gonna heat that until it's melted and I am gonna use the wonderful coordinating dies to these sentiments. I just love, 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 love that Honeybee Stamps has coordinating dies to their sentiments. Now let's put these cards together. I have both of my backgrounds adhered to a white A2 size card base. I'm just adding some liquid glue behind the centers of the flowers because I want to tuck my leaves in underneath and I don't wanna have an issue with that. So just using liquid glue for all of this, I'm just gonna tuck those in and around. And you can see how I laid these flowers out. You still can see the beautiful alcohol inked background. It's really simple. There's a decent amount of white space, but the pink, with the blue and the yellow and the green is really stunning and really pops off the page. I'm gonna add some foam tape behind my gold embossed sentiment. And for this card, this one says, you're my favorite flower, which I think is perfect. Again, this is from the My Favorite Flowers stamp and coordinating die. And now we have this one. I lined up the alcohol inked background at the bottom and I'm just going to adhere my cone flowers to the top there. And I just liked having the white at the top. I just thought with all these, it's so colorful. So with all of these colors, we needed some white. I'm just gonna tuck in my leaves and then add that sentiment at the top. And this one says, you are such a blessing in my life. Again, I'm gonna use some foam tape behind this and that's gonna give that a little bit of dimension. And then I'm gonna bring in some dew drops and my white gel pen. I'm just gonna add a few white dots to the leaves up close where the center of the flower is. I'm not gonna go crazy. Sometimes I want to, I really love my uh, white gel pen for details, but I'm just gonna do that to all four of these flowers. And then I decided to come in with the R89 Copic marker, and I did add some darker dots to the centers of the flowers, which really added a ton of interest and made the flower just more lifelike. So that's what I'm doing here is just adding a few dots, not in the center where it's light, but around the edges. I'm going to add dew drops just to this card only. I laid it out on the other card and I just didn't like it. So I'm just gonna add a few to this, this card here, and then I am completely finished. I love this cone flower die. The Lovely Layers collections with all the flowers are just gorgeous. You get so much dimension. They are so lifelike. Adding this to the alcohol inked background, I think is just really, really beautiful. And these cards were super easy to make. You really could do a lot of these. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. And I hope that you feel inspired and that you enjoyed this project. And I will see you soon. Thanks, bye.